What's up everybody, Jonathan here, exercise specialist here at the Burke Fitness Center. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about exercise, its impact on the immune system, and how that ultimately plays a role in the current COVID-19 pandemic. Nowadays, we're spending a lot of our time in social isolation and confinement. This actually is paradoxical because it has a negative impact on our immunity. Now think of it this way. You're inside all day. You might miss your friends. You might be listening to the news. You might be undergoing financial hardship. You're currently outside of your regular daily routine. The idea is that all of this can be very stressful. Now stress, in turn, can inhibit many critical functions of our immune system. When under stress, the ability of our immune cells, that being T cells and lymphocytes, to do their job is reduced. Now, their job is to patrol, so to speak, and seek out vulnerable areas in our body and prevent viruses and pathogens or foreign objects from gaining a foothold in our systems. This is important to know because with a well-functioning immune system, this reduces the impact of certain viral infections and should we become infected, can reduce our recovery time as well. Well, exercise boosts our immune system by something called mobilization. That means that with each bout of exercise, billions of immune cells are recruited and recirculated in the blood. And this allows them to recognize and kill virus infected cells. In a way, these immune cells are primed and looking for a fight. And with this increased surveillance, it makes us more resistant to infection and better equipped to deal with it too. Exercise is especially beneficial for older adults who are more vulnerable than their younger counterpart and particularly more susceptible to infection. That's why it's vitally important that we try to maintain our activity levels and de-stress when possible to remain positive. Doing this can counter the negative effects of isolation and stress on various aspects of our immune systems. Currently, the greatest risk of COVID-19 is exposure. It is paramount that we find creative ways to exercise while maintaining social distancing and proper hygienic countermeasures. While exercise may not prevent us from being infected, it is likely that keeping active will boost our immune system to help minimize the deleterious effects of the virus, ameliorate our symptoms, expedite our recovery time, and lower the likelihood we can infect others with whom we come in contact with.